At first, I had a really hard time because my dose was too high. I was on about 100 milligrams of DMPS every eight hours um, for three days on and 11 days off. I believe it's the DAN protocol for uh, the autistic kids, but that's what my doctor used for me, and, uh, and I didn't respond well to that. And then I found you know, the Amalgam Illness book, and it says slow down very frequent doses, but very low doses. It ends up being about the same um, milligram-wise. Instead of taking, you know, 100 milligrams every eight hours, you take, you know, 20 milligrams every three hours along with the ALA, and it, it worked miracles. It was like I could take the medication, and I felt like myself again, and then it got to the point where after the medication, you know, after my round of chelation, I was no longer in tons of pain. It became easier and easier as time went on because at first it was pretty rough because it, my dose was way too high for me. Others, someone else may handle 100 milligrams of DMPS just fine, but for me personally, and, and everyone's got their own way to do it that works for them. Some people can use the zeolite. Some people have to use DMSA. It just depends on you. And uh, But for me personally, the um, the chelation, the DMPS with the ALA, following the Cutler Protocol, taking all of the minerals and supplements and vitamins daily all the time is key. I can tell a complete difference if I do not take the vitamin C, the flaxseed oil, uh, molybdenum, um, vitamin D, you know, just there's a slew of, of supplements that he recommends and and they they make me feel like myself again and I, I can, absolutely tell if I don't take them. And so I think that that's a big part of it too because mercury does block those sites where like zinc is supposed to be. So if you take zinc, it's not gonna go where it's supposed to be because it, mercury's in there. So when you pull the mercury out, then you have to replace it with the zinc so that you function correctly again. So it, it is a process and it's, it's a pretty scientific one, but um, if it's explained, you know, in such a way for, you know, someone that's a layman like myself, you know, as an English major, not a chemistry major, uh, you know, it, it starts to make more sense. And, uh, and, and then it just made, it just clicked, you know, it just clicked one day. It was like, this is exactly what I've had since I was 10 years old, you know, eight years old, however old, you know, this, this is it. I, I, I can't describe how wonderful I feel compared to how I was my whole life. I feel like a new person. I feel like myself again.